happy Sunday. It's the day of rest, the day of God. Don't usually upload on a Sunday, but here we are. I know what you're thinking, Jack. Buttons are being pressed. There's no controller in your hands. What's happening? This is a post commentary. We never do these. They're the sign of a terrible YouTuber. I'm joking, that wasn't a shot fired at anyone. But I've got more free time on me hands, on my hands, than I thought I would. Um, I thought we were going to, you know, struggle to get content out and working from home life is busy, but I, I've got time and I've got quite a lot of holiday in the next few weeks. So obviously the planned upload schedule is Tuesday, Friday. I'd say you can confidently, you know, put money on it if bookies are offering it on a Sunday video, every Sunday for the foreseeable future, and maybe even another random one in between. The best place to find out when and where this is happening is by following the Twitter. Hopefully I'll actually put something there. Check that out. I always update. I'm quite active on there. There's a good little community on there of people. But yeah, so this is a post commentary. One, I had more time on my hands. Two, I wanted to do a question and answer and we got some good questions in. So we're going to be rattling through some of them. And three, I feel like I said two is three. But three, we played a good game. And when I say I played a good game, I don't necessarily mean we played well. I don't necessarily mean we smashed a team. It was an exciting game. I won't spoil the score. You can enjoy it. I won't be mentioning it at all. It's just a bit of filler in the background whilst this goes on. But yeah, the journeyman's going well. On Tuesday, we will have the Verona derby. After the absolute travesty of Friday's episode, we're now through the hump, you know, we're past Christmas and the Verona derby is coming. I'm not even injured, I'm at game day. I rested myself the day before, the game before, to make sure that I'm actually okay to go. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. So we've had a lot of questions coming in, flying in. Fred Pearson has asked us what our YouTube goals are. Great question, Fred. Thanks for getting in touch. Um, it's a tough one. I think first, I just want to have an, a nice little group of people. Like, I don't know. 50 who who are active I know their names there's like 10 15 of you so far and I love it but I'd love to be able to sort of notice people oh, that's Dave that's Ladimus the, these are people who do comment regularly already T to have more people like that that eventually when we do get millions of subscribers I've got that kind of core group that I remember if you're into my videos I'll follow you back <laughs> you know it's not a big thing but I think I've always wanted to have like a set of people that if I say on Twitter what do you guys think of this film get replies you know people care about what I have to say I care about what they have to say a little community and money baby that's the big one Fred fuck my fans I want the cash the more this video goes on the more I realize with this black denim shirt and the and the hair like this I do look a bit like a lesbian so I'm gonna take that off now I will I'm guessing wear a hat in some videos very soon you know the old gentleman we had quite a few hat additions I think it's needed the hair is out of control, I've got no clippers here. Let's get into question number two. Um, and we've got a two for one. First, Tombo says, favorite FIFA game. <sighs> I mean, none of them are great. They're, they're all passable. I think FIFA 17, I played quite a lot. And FIFA 15, I think FIFA 15 was, FIFA 15, FIFA 15 was my first one on PS4. Put a lot of hours into that, that's a very enjoyable game. So let's go FIFA 15. And Sam Sam Maharawi Sam, asks would you ever do an NBA career series or are you just a one trick pony loser seems a bit harsh isn't it because I'm either saying no I'm a massive loser or yes and now I've got to do it the answer is no I'm a big loser it's because the NBA career mode every game takes about half an hour and with editing 15 minutes and there's about 80 games this season maybe even 100 with the playoffs I mean, I'm not doing a 100 game series just for one season. That would be absolutely mental. But thanks for the question, I guess. Next up, we have Ladimus Prime who says, How easy, tough do you find it to make your videos creativity wise? You know, it is a little bit tough. Um, it can be a bit awkward sometimes if, I, if I'm playing FIFA and I realise I haven't spoken for 20 minutes. But then you also have that thing of, I don't want to start a conversation. And then score a goal and that kind of ruins the flow of what I've been saying for a minute beforehand. And it's tough just in general. If you want to have two games in an episode, the highlights of said games, you're looking, because I like to show quite a bit, 11, 12 minutes. And I mean, I went on like a two minute monologue recently about Italian swear words. Favangola, that's how you pronounce it apparently. So it, it, it can be tough just to kind of neaten everything into a small package. If it was up to me, I'd probably do one episode a week that was half an hour long. 
and just lots of little bits and creativity in there, but no one's going to watch it. When I'm famous? Fuck yeah. When I'm famous, I just do whatever I want, but for now, we have to churn out churn out content that people want to see. But yeah, it's a little bit tough. Thanks for, you know, not a lot of people are, so thank you. Um, Crypt Tip Hop says, can you give out some FIFA 20 codes? No. I mean, I get what, like 50 views an episode? I don't think EA is saying, Jack, so, you know, here's some codes for you to give out. I don't have any. I'm sorry, I'm sure it's on sale at the minute with everything that's going on. Um, DSD Plays, a good guy, you should all check him out. Ask me a shit ton of questions. Um, we're rattled through them. Who is your favourite football team? People are wondering, is he going to say Liverpool or Everton? I just love Merseyside. Pro- I support Everton. My favourite team are Liverpool, so, you know, make that, I'm joking, I'm an Everton fan, it's in the blood. Um, Who is your favourite player, Jordan Henderson or Steven Gerrard? Who is your most hated team and player? Um, For a long time it was Manchester United, but I actually quite like them at the minute. I'd probably go Man City, Uh, I've said in my videos, hold on, I'm looking very yellow. Still looking very yellow, I look like a Simpson. Hated player, I don't know. It's a tough one. Maybe Ronaldo, just because I like Messi quite a lot. Um, I don't think there's any players I kind of... Oh, Rio Ferdinand, if I can count him. I think he's a he's a bastard. Let's go Rio Ferdinand. Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Who is the best in the world except Messi and Ronaldo? It's a tough one. I think you have a kind of group of players. Maybe one day we'll do one of these football tier lists. Who are clearly... I mean... I'd, I'd now probably go Messi... A group of players that includes Ronaldo and then the rest. And this group is probably Van Dijk, Neymar, De Bruyne. And and that's me taking them at their very best. I don't think over a whole season De Bruyne is at that level. But kind of when they're at their best and you go, Jesus, footballing wise, he knows what he's doing. I'd probably say De Bruyne is up. So yeah, De Bruyne, Van Dijk and Neymar. Don't make me choose. Um, who is your favourite YouTuber? Um, if I go in sort of FIFA content or, or football manager, like the sports games I watch, I really like Dr. Benji FM. He does a lot of kind of long but really good series. Definitely check him out. I'll leave, I won't leave this link. He doesn't need it. It's Dr. Benji FM. Favourite YouTuber, probably hands down, is Mr. Sark. Um, if people don't know him, he's, you know, he's not everyone's cup of tea. He's a bit mental. Um, just YouTube like Mr. Sark, best moments. He's very funny. If any of you have seen him, he's very, very, very funny. He's a bit old now. He's like 45, but, you know, he's, he's, he's my one. I really like him. Who is your inspiration? You, DSD plays. You're my inspiration. Why did you start YouTube? I don't remember. The first videos we made were me playing manual FIFA, and that was going to be the way forward. And I don't know why. I can't think in my head why I suddenly decided, you know what, I'm going to play manually and make videos glad I did because I really enjoy it and it was only a year ago I'm not one of those people who's like I did it five years ago I was 16 and everyone did it I wasn't even into YouTube at the time I think I was just bored one day and it, here we are now who is your favorite subscriber I mean I have to, again you know there's a lot of nice ones I obviously have to pick this guy imagine him asking me who's your favorite subscriber that guy It'd be an arsehole who is the best upcoming youngster in your opinion uh, oh, there's a lot of good ones. Ryan Shekri, um from Leon is meant to be very good. Ones that I actually, I guess Sancho, Mbappe, can I can I say people like that? Maybe I should say someone that no one's heard of, and then five years time they'll be like Jack called it. Harland, I'm going with Harland. <laughs> that was that was a bit. Another one from Freddie says so dream job. Probably if I could do this full time or just any sort of streaming full time. One day I'd like to have a big setup and just stream all day. I mean. I'm sure it is hard. Seems like a piece of piss, and it seems like a lot of fun. Uh, Matt, with some fantastic questions. What are your favourite crisps? Finally, questions about me instead of football. My favourite crisps are probably Space Raiders. Um, I used to like Monster Munch, but I, I, I went vegan. You know, some of you might not know that. I'm pushing my agenda on you now, um, so I can't eat them. But, you know, Space Raiders are really good. Snacker Jacks are nice, and they've got my name in them. How many bags of them could you eat in one sitting? We'll go with Space Raiders. I think eight. I'm pretty sure I ate eight bags in the cinema once when I went to see Sinister. I got one of those, like, mega packs. I think eight. 1,000 subscribers special. I'll eat eight packets of Space Raiders in eight minutes. 
how have you stockpiled them because of the nasty germs making everyone stay in I haven't stockpiled them I probably should I think I've had three or four bags when I go on my little walks from Sainsbury's I usually get that and an oasis I mean it's the classic meal deal space raiders and an oasis one million and contract COVID-19 coronavirus or no money and no COVID-19 can answer yes or no I mean firstly what do you mean I can answer yes or no yes or no doesn't make any sense in this context I think I'd take a million pounds and take it. And I think if anyone else answered that, I'd say, you're being stupid, you're risking your life. It's a, it's a million pounds. I'll risk my life for a million pounds. I can live off that forever. You get some people like, couldn't live off a million. Watch me now. Easily. That would be good. I'd take a million. And then lastly, I say lastly, we've got about 50 questions from Glenn, so we'll rattle through these. If you could change, alter one rule in football, what's it going to be? to one rule in football what would it be uh, do you know I'm trying to think of a funny answer I can't think of any get rid of the nets <laughs> what, what a terrible answer get rid of the nets what would I change I would maybe make it so you know money trickles down a bit more and I'm not talking about like invest in tier 8 football couldn't give a shit about that I'm saying like so clubs like City Chelsea Chelsea's a hot Liverpool that money goes passed down to the bottom of the league as well just to make it a little bit more competitive but I mean it's getting more competitive so what do I know who do you respect more see Ronaldo with his endless hard work or Messi with his undeniable born talent I guess from the way you phrased it probably Ronaldo because Messi hasn't had to work for it as much but I mean I, I don't care really you're hosting a dinner party cooking your signature vegetarian spag bowl with a side of mash I never have mash with a spag bow. I, I, maybe garlic bread, not mash. Which three footballers, managers are you hitting up? Jose Mourinho, seems like he'd be a, a good guy to have a conversation with. Luca Tony, you know, bit of daddy action. Um, and let's pick one more. I don't know why I've decided it's got to be three. Uh, I don't think of footballers that seem like they like a drink. Seem like they'd be a bit of fun. Cantona. No, fuck that. Why would I want to see Cantona? Got no interest in the guy. Surely one for oh Berbatov. I, I, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, did you once ask a dad what could you do? What would you do if I drop kicked your baby? Okay, drama time. Um, obviously, I haven't been in much YouTube drama, but this was a bit of drama at my old job when I worked at McDonald's a few years ago. A bit of context, obviously, because it looks bad at just that level. I was in on break with a father of a baby he's around 30 years old maybe he had the baby with one of the managers at the store we were just you know playing if you've ever worked in a restaurant when you're all sort of chilling and just kind of talking shite so we're saying what would you do so you know what would you do if I punched you right now and I think he said something like what would you do if I hit your sister she's older than me she can handle herself so I probably said something like oh I'd scrap you up which I wouldn't have so I said to him what would you do if I kicked your baby who was six seven months old at the time I thought it was a joke you know I think I'm in the clear he said something like I would fucking kill you and I'm like okay (laughs) won't be kicking the baby I come in the next day um the manager on shift who is the that wasn't it wasn't that night I had a week's holiday so I came in the next week and whilst I was off a few people messaging me and saying Steve shouldn't say their names X and Y are going to beat you up and they're both like 30 and I'm like what why are they going to beat like this had all completely crossed my mind so a week later I'm back in at 1am 1 1am 1 6am I'm back in for a morning shift with the mother and she's just not talking to me at all and then yeah later that shift I found out what it was over had to explain it was an obvious joke I'm not going to kick your baby and yeah safe to say I had the last laugh because I kicked that flipping baby halfway up to the moon and back. There's a vacant two-seater couch. You taking the armrest on the left or right? Both! That was a Mr. Sark joke, the whole both thing. I think Glenn knows that. Was COVID-19 an inside job? If so, who? Yes, the Spanish. Why do you serve mash with your spag bowl? Again, I don't. That's not something I would ever do. Um, and I think Glenn summed up this video saying, these will do for now may think of more tar and you know that's the Q&A in general this will do for now 
Last thing I want to touch on, if you are still here, is we have rebranded. We are now FIFA Fella. Yeah, I know. Hello there, my name is FIFA Fella. I know, I'm not happy about it either. The YouTube channel is called FIFA Fella. Jack YT Stevens was very difficult to find, and also I want to be anonymous. I don't want you all knowing my name is Jack Stevens and being able to find me. If I go as FIFA Fella, you don't know my name is Jack Stevens. Always one step ahead. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Journeyman. I know it's been very different. Tuesday we'll go back to our normal video. Uh, as I said, it's the Verona Derby. It's a big one. We're going to speed through the second half of the season. And yeah, I will see you there. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.